Hello, good evening. Welcome to North West Tonight with Roger Johnson. And Annabel Tiffin, our top story. At a double disadvantage, the children being left behind because of poverty and poor schools. We'll hear, like, we'll hear from the Children's Commissioner who wrote the report also in tonight's programme. Dumped with her ear hanging by a thread, had this abandoned dog been used in an illegal blood sport? Um, she had her ear hanging off. Um, she had wounds to her legs, but she came up to us straight away and was just wagging her tail, came sniffing like nothing had happened. Shaking it up, we're in Cumbria for the premiere of Johnny Vegas's new sitcom. Yeah, there's news. Yes, there's intrigue. Yes, there's who did what and the local name and shame them in the paper. But for us, it's all about comedy and a clean, clean carpet. What the hell is this, man? This is BBC One in the Northwest. And Fab at 50, sometimes. We <laughs> celebrate our birthday with a trip down memory lane. Too many children growing up in the north of England face the double disadvantage of entrenched deprivation and poor schools. That's according... Temperatures between 9 and 11 Celsius. Oh, right. Come Go on, on, hobble uh, over. Yeah. Come on, hobble. Got so, <laughs> a bit of a so, bad foot. <laughs> so Diane has got a suspected broken toe. We'll or see. poorly toe. You've got a frozen shoulder. Mm -hmm. We're all getting on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we all feel every one of our years today, yes. don't we? Yes. <laughs> As we were saying, we are celebrating a little bit today because do you recognise, I can't turn to look at them, but recognise <laughs> any of these old <laughs> logos? <laughs> I recognise them. Yeah. It is celebrating our 50th birthday, which was actually yesterday. So we've been rummaging through the archives. Now, the BBC actually started a northern news programme which was broadcast from Manchester in 1951. But over the years, the North East and then Yorkshire got their own programmes. So five decades ago this week, we were left to focus on yeah. the best bits. March the 25th, 1968. What we now call Northwest Tonight was born before some of us even were. But the first escort was rolling off the production line at Halewood and cotton trading came to an end at Manchester's Royal Exchange. In the 1970s, regional news became part of the BBC's nationwide programme, a collection of curiosities, remember it, which put us alongside gurning men and skateboarding ducks. At least that has changed. Northwest Tonight, though, finally became the programme's name in 1984. The year that Everton won the FA Cup, Liverpool won the European Cup again, and the Challenge Cup was a local derby with Widnes beating Wigan. 1995 saw the departure of one Northwest icon from our screens. It was a, a very hard decision, but the time just feels right for me. Show that rain quite and the arrival of another. Yes, I'm going to be here tonight and every night this week, bringing you a detailed weather forecast with information supplied. By she them. hasn't aged at all. In 2011, after 30 years, we left Oxford Road in Manchester for a shiny new waterside home. The move to Media City UK in Salford coincided with riots in Manchester and Liverpool. You know, we used only to be on a box in the corner of the living room. Technology is changing. But we are still here reporting the Northwest every day and bringing you the stories that matter online, on social media, and of course, still on TV. Well, hopefully for, for now. 50 years. <laughs> well, <laughs> but maybe not with us. I'm I not sure we're going to make that. People still call it Look Northwest. Look, look, yeah, look, look, look Northwest. Right. <laughs> oh, well, thank you for watching for all those years. Yes, and please carry on. Have a nice <laughs> evening. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you later. Bye bye. See you bye. I do think we've missed a trip.